Now, this week's arguments all centred around the Irish border. Now, here's the thing. Before the referendum was held, a lot of people suggested that a break from the EU would mean we'd have to have a border with Ireland, to which Brexiteers replied, Oh, piffle, poffle and whiff waff, everything will be tickety-boo with muffins and crumpets and lashings and ginger beer and, whoops, I've got my secretary pregnant. Now... <laughs> No, that was was no that one anyone in particular? No one in particular. No <laughs> one in particular. It reminded me of someone. Oh, did it? Right. But I can't remember their name, like on Corey, when they couldn't remember yours. <laughs> <laughs> A few months ago, Theresa May said there wouldn't be an Irish border, but didn't really say how. This week, her plan seemed to be to ask for an extension on the Brexit transition period, because she still doesn't know how there's not going to be an Irish border. Are you allowed to do that? Well, I haven't... I haven't got a joke on this bit yet. Can I come back to you in a year? Is that... <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, though, I'm sure I speak for everyone, what everyone's thinking is, let's extend Brexit. It's going so well. <laughs> it's such a good time. And you've got to admire Theresa May. She's pitching something to the EU that her ministers have rejected, the EU have rejected, and her closest advisers have said is unworkable. But she's still having a crack. She's like a presenter on the shopping channel. She knows she's selling a piece of shit, but she's going to smile her way through it and hope to God someone buys it. I love the idea of you at home watching the shopping channel. <laughs> Coming in, Alex is one best disabled person. You can. I bought a Diamante prosthetic. <laughs> <laughs> now, By the way, you didn't win best disabled person. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally Wait, described can I just yeah, say, yeah, I, I keep best. looking at Alex with that on and trying to work out who he reminds me of. Do you know the darts player Bobby George? <laughs> <laughs> I reckon this will now help me park in Tesco. <laughs> Now, we've, hold, we've heard a whole new bunch of words since this whole referendum started. Brexit, hard border, customs union, fuck shambles. But this week, <laughs> we got a new one. Backstop. Now, that word is normally associated with American baseball, so we're going to try and turn that analogy into a demonstration tonight to explain what went on with Brexit negotiations this week. And in order to do that, I actually have to put on some baseball gear, starting with a helmet. Right? Yep. And weirdly, according to health and safety rules... Yeah. Adam, you know the people in health and safety are taking the piss? No. They... What health and safety rules? In case you, you can't get it. <laughs> it's stuck on the prosthetic. <laughs> right, here we go. Come on. OK, right. Could I okay. just say, as if your week couldn't have any more indignity? Yeah. <laughs> What's the health and safety in case you shit yourself? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Let's... <laughs> I mean, you don't get this on Newsnight, right? Adam, you've got two children at home that could be watching this. That's... <clears throat> and I know, and I might want to have another one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me... <laughs> Theresa May, this... I mean, this really looked much better on paper. <laughs> <laughs> Theresa May is hoping the EU tosses her a soft Brexit deal that takes care of the Irish border and she can knock it out of the park like this. Can I just say before I throw this... Yeah, go on. We had to use softballs because when we discussed doing this in the office, Adam said, thing is... If I connect to a hard ball, <laughs> I'll take out one of the audience. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Babe Ruth. <laughs> All right, come on, Beth. This is what Theresa May wants to do. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> 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 yeah, damn right. Damn right, Brooker. <laughs> That's influential. Go on, have another. <laughs> Hang on. Oh! You can't. You better let me prepare. Give it back. <laughs> <laughs> Right. All right, so that's what Theresa May is hoping is going to happen. But the EU aren't going to be as soft as that. And she's got to deal with 27 leaders who all have their own needs and wants. <laughs> <laughs> so what she needs... <laughs> oh, dear. What she needs... Who needs to be able to throw? ..is a backstop in case she has a swing and a miss. So, this is, this is Theresa May's first backstop. <laughs> OK, so Theresa May's first backstop is that the entire United Kingdom remains in the customs union for a limited period of time. But that's not what the EU wants, or most people that voted for Brexit. <laughs> so she's got a backstop to the backstop. <laughs> the backstop to the backstop is that there'll be a customs border in the Irish Sea. This means Northern Ireland will still be in the EU customs union, but will effectively break up the UK and upset the DUP. Because, right... OK, now the whole thing, because Theresa May doesn't even know, <laughs> doesn't know what deal she's pushing for, it's being dubbed a blindfold Brexit, <laughs> which means the negotiations are now going to look like this. <laughs> oh. 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 
<laughs> okay, you can stop it. You can stop it now. Complaints and... Can we... Alex, turn it off!